In today's video, we rebuild the New England Patriots, and Mac Jones went stupid. I want seven from you, Mac Jones, and I don't want you, I don't want you rolling out like that ever again. What? Oh no! But is he a little bit more than that? Hey, yo, what the? Then Oh, I done messed up, bro. That could have been a trait. No way! And of course, if you are new around here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely amazing. And hey, if you do enjoy this video as well, please make sure to leave it a like as that is the best way to help this channel grow. Let's get into it. Here we go. We got an 82 overall squad, 83 offense, 81 defense, and can we just talk about how much a Big Mac is nowadays? And of course, Mac Jones, who's looked like the best rookie quarterback so far of the draft class. And to me... You know, it's not really much of a surprise. He fell later, so he went to a solid team like the Patriots with Bill Belichick and a very, very solid team built around him already. And coming out of college, you know, I think Mac Jones had one of, if not even the highest floors with the quarterbacks alongside Trevor Lawrence, of course. Mac was really good, man. Really smart player as well. The question mark around him and why he fell was always just his ceiling and how much better could he get. But he's looked really good so far, which is very, very promising and great to see. So let's see how he can be, you know, in five years time if he can lead us to a Super Bowl. And they also even upped him to star. So you love to see it. The run game in New England is always great. And Damian Harris has been a pretty solid running back so far. They got a pretty deep core here that can rotate. Ramondre Stevenson, Bubba Bold, and JJ Taylor. It's decent, man. Wide receiver core, though. Ain't too great. Ain't gonna lie with you. You know, Aguilar broke out last year and he's been pretty good so far. Jacoby Myers is a guy I do really like though, although my mans cannot find the end zone for his life. <laughs> <laughs> Tight ends, of course, where they made some big splashes in the offseason. Hunter Henry, Johnu Smith, who have both looked really good so far. Offensive line is really good. Isaiah Wynn, Michael Onwenu, one of the biggest gems of last year's draft. David Andrews, Shaq Mason, and of course, pre-existing injuries are on, so no Trent Brown for now. And that has proven to be um, very costly for them in real life so far. But this defense is still really solid, man. Of course, the addition of Christian Barmore in this year's draft. This guy was like a fringe first-round guy for me, and they got him in the second round. I believe they traded up for him as well great player he can develop into something nice hopefully in the future lawrence guy wise jr of course chase winovich hurt for the meantime as well cornerbacks jc jackson's great i think he's on a contract year as well and they did trade stefan gilmore to the panthers as well so we got we got that pick even though it was like a fourth rounder so it's not gonna matter at all they have Sean Wade now. I don't know. It's not It's it's not looking right here. Jonathan Jones also hurt. Free safety. Devin McCourty's the beast. We all know that he's been a beast for a long time. And he is 34 years of age now. So I'm not too sure if we're going to have him after this season. We'll have to see. Adrian Phillips. Shout out to him. We just won player of the week, I think. Like last week or something. I think I'm going to start Kyle Duger though. Because he is younger. Start development. I want him to become something. Outside linebackers. We've got Matthew Judon who's been fantastic this year and worth all the money they paid him matthew junon has been one of the best edge rushers in the league so far he's up to an 88 now on madden so shout out to him ronnie perkins their draft pick kyle van noy who they picked up back in new england he has been a vital piece as well josh uche nice young piece for us and the middle linebackers we've got dante hightower who's been super underrated throughout the past decade or so but he is 31 years old now so i'm not too sure if he's going to see any more game time after this year, because I believe he's on a contract year two, so we got to get his replacement ASAP. Bentley's okay. I like Cam McGrone, who they drafted this year as well, but probably got to upgrade this. And we are starting from today as well, so all the realistic stats and all that good stuff as his team currently has the same amount of win as the Bills. So let's see how we can finish. Um, nine and eight, but we do make the playoffs. Bills first place there at 11 and six. Jets, <laughs> Dolphins, are down so bad, bro. <laughs> Passing leaders, we've got Brady on top, 5,400 yards for him, as well as 50 touchdowns. Ridiculous. Mahomes, Matty Ice, number two and three there. Zeke, Cook, and Taylor, no real surprises there. If you ask me, Debo leads the way for receiving yards. You'd love to see that. Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper in two and three. Miles Garrett leads the way with 18 sacks. Cleo Mack, Nick Bosa, and of course, Trayvon Diggs leads the way for interceptions. As offensively, we were 24th in the league. Okay, that's a little underwhelming. Defensively, 13th. I don't know how Patriots playbook is. I've seen it before in some of my rebuilds, and it, it looks kind of fire. So, hopefully, it can do good for us. Mac Jones, though, not a bad rookie year at all. 4,276 yards, 27 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. That is very solid. Scratch, very solid. Very good. Very good rookie year from Mac Jones, man. Damian Harris, 1,041 yards, only 3.8 carry, but he got himself eight touchdowns. Ramondre Stevenson had six, Bubba Bona with four. And then four receivers, it's actually Kendrick Bourne that leads the way with 917 yards and eight touchdowns. He had a really good year. Aguilar, six touchdowns, just about 900 yards for him. Hunter Henry, 855. He found the end zones nine times, though. Shout out to him. Jacoby Myers. 
got two touchdowns. Shout out to him. His first two of his career, 750 yards as well. Johnu Smith didn't do too much. How Duger leads the way for tackles made with 98 there. Tackle for losses with the 12 to Judon, 10 to Jawan Bentley. And then sacks. Jadon also had 10.5, Van Noy 5.5, Hightower 3.5, Josh Uche with 3, Lawrence Guy 2, nobody else really worth mentioning there. Interceptions 5 for JC Jackson. If he goes up to Superstar, I will probably re-sign him because we got to have that Alpha CB1, you know what I mean? Adrian Phillips with four. Judon even got himself two picks. Same with Duger. As we got ourselves the Las Vegas Raiders in the first round who also go 9-8, and eight, but we have a one last hoorah, and this is going to be Devin Me. McCordy, and that's exactly who it is. The potential retirement of Devin McCordy has fired up the team, plus 10 morale for all. Love the players. Can we get one last Super Bowl for Devin? Let's get it on, baby. Derek Carr and the Raiders, let's get them out the way right quick. 28-23, really close game there. Now we got the 9-8 Chiefs who made it as well, but let's, let's keep racking up the morale. Continues to invigorate teammates, plus 10 morale come on can we upset the kansas city chiefs patrick Mahomes, who started off the year so so bad make it to the playoffs and we beat them okay hold up now we have the ravens but give me that morale one more coach shut up mccorkle ladies and gentlemen keep the ball rolling as devin mccordy's retirement continues to invigorate his teammates for another plus 10 morale that's plus 30 now the team's absolutely buzzing we got lamar jackson and the 13 and 4 Ball, 10 more Ravens. We lose. We lose in the conference championship, but tell you what, if that's a glimpse of the future of this team, I am super, super excited to see what Matt can do for us. Wow, and look who made the Super Bowl as well. Imagine we had Brady versus the Patriots in the very first year of this rebuild. That would have been wild. Mac Jones' son wins MVP. Hey, Judon was number two for Defensive Player of the Year, so we, lo we love to see that. Hopefully, he can go up to Superstar, but Offensive Rookie of the Year, Mac Jones. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, you've got to be kidding me. How did they go 8-9? and nine? What? Mac Jones has led us to the conference championship. That is ridiculous. Oh, shout out Ramondre. And if any of you guys are new around here, we do have an offensive line rule that we do to potentially upgrade them since they can't get upgrades in the first place. If you finish number one and are a superstar, you will go up to X Factor. If you finish in the top five and are star already, I will up you to superstar development. And if you finish top 10 as a normal development, I will up you to star. So I'm saying that right now because we're probably going to have some later on but right now we only have Trent Brown <laughs> and he's already superstar so it doesn't really matter but can Mac Jones become a superstar he cannot brutal I mean his stats were good but they definitely weren't like correct but he just led us to the conference championship you know what I'm saying Trent Brown made it in here even though he's still hurt or he made that top 10 thing I don't know we need we didn't get any upgrades on offense unfortunately but my eyes are popping on the defensive side where we got Matthew Judon up to superstar Kyle Van Noy up to superstar and JC Jackson I love to see that I probably should have started Uche over Van Noy but it's got me curious now or is Winovich and Trent Brown just like are they dead of course James White got hurt too I forgot to mention his name Dalton Keene um Winovich's length is zero and Trent Brown's probably length zero. Where were they? Where were they? And it's Brady and the Bucks repeating. Beating the Ravens 31-21. That should have been us. And we all saw how close that game was in real life. The Patriots could have won that, bro. Contracts. We got JC Jackson, of course. Devin, I thought you were retiring. What are you doing here? Hightower. Probably going to let both of these guys walk, though. Trent Brown. Probably would love to get him back. Jacoby Myers as well. And you know what? With JC Jackson going up to Superstar, I'm going to give him a five-year deal up until he's 31 years old. Let me bump up the money as well. He should rejoin us here. He's probably going to be my CB1 for the foreseeable future. Welcome back. Trent Brown is a big looking weird dude, but <laughs> his avatar guy looks so weird. Um, Four-year deal for him though. Up to uh, up until he's 33 years old. He's Superstar, right tackle. I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave it how it is. And he's back. Okay. I mean, I'm take that. I'm happy. All right. And I've just come to the realization that Nelson Aguilar, I would be saving 17 mil if I released him. He, he's a good player, but the money's looking a little bit rough here in 17 mil. It's 17 mil. And with some of that money, I would love to re-sign Jacoby Myers to a five-year deal as well. He's back. As we got ourselves about 34 mil to play around with in free agency. Now, we just went to the conference championship. Maybe I re-sign McCourty back. He's got a lot of bids on him, though. Not gonna lie, I really want to sign Michael Gallup. I think he'd be a great addition and a great fit. But I see Juju here. 25 years old, he's younger, just a rating less, scheme fit, and he's got no bids on him. He's got a fractured shoulder blade, which is the injury he has in real life, but he's got no bid. 
so i'm gonna go ahead and throw in an offer for juju i think they offered him in real life as well like last year i'm gonna shoot my shot though 95 points i was hoping Jawan bentley wouldn't have any bids but he's got himself three so looks like i'm not gonna resign him i might get hightower back on a one-year deal but chris barnes is the one that's catching my eye still 24 years of age scheme fit as well i'm gonna offer him a deal here we should have some of the boosts as well gives me to 108 points and puts us at number one and then dante hightower as well who wants a two-year deal stop that also offered back from McCordy on a one-year deal you know that we just made the conference championship the team's gonna get better next year let's run it back as we are getting ourselves Rodrigo Blankenship my kicker for this whole rebuild Dante Hightower is back Juju is here Chris Bournes and Devin McCordy. was that everyone for some reason I don't think that was everyone and I'm not gonna go check for whatever reason that might have been everyone hell yeah we got everybody <laughs> but now what do we look for in the draft why is trent brown below this haran dude bro um uh, maybe receiver because kendrick Bourne probably not going to be our guy for the future maybe we focus more defensively though especially maybe cornerback we need a number three safety after Devin McCourty retires and linebacker as well and defensive line. okay a lot so I give my private workouts to you you and you because you're a defensive player on Georgia yo did I did I not private work out these two safeties they're literally both 40 percent hello this guy's got beat man though <laughs> and had a crazy combine ran the fastest 40 at a 4-3 elite acceleration change of direction jumping speed as well Ahmad Beeson might be our replacement for Devin McCourty. Okay, so I'm going to be trading up five spots here with the Cowboys to go up to 24 because that safety is like fringe first round guy. We're just giving away a fourth round pick in a future six. And I just wanted to guarantee, kind of guarantee that we can get him. Um, hopefully, hopefully he's still there on the board. Let's go ahead and go check it out. Ahmad Beeson, the Utah strong safety is still here. Looks ridiculous. I wish I had him more scouted because I had him in the private workouts, but who knows this scouting update kind of weird but this guy nonetheless from what we can see right now looks unbelievable i mean look at his combine he was first in everything but the bench press amon beeson is gonna be your guy for this whole week bang baby giving me hidden development 90s across the boards on athletic ratings except for the 63 strike. second round pick now i kind of like what i'm seeing out of my boy dexter browning the rhode island middle linebacker there got him, we got him 40 percent scouted so it's not too much but from what i can see b hit power be impact block be awareness physical stats don't look too bad as well ran the fastest 40 had the most bench presses as well he's not bad so dexter browning will be he my pick here and he is that normal development so kind of blows but he's still a good player but he is that normal yeah. so why are you look so aggressive bro? i'm sorry third round pick we're gonna go rob herman a center here maybe the replacement for the aging shaq mason david andrews whoever it is can rob herman be that guy absolutely not unless my man's is like a 83 overall you know what i'm saying he's 64 this guy's also 64 but beeson is a 79 okay this guy looks like the real deal let's check out his ratings here 94 speed 95 acceleration okay 76 zone and 73 man what's with the morale going down though that kind of sucks but this guy looks like a beast bro maybe i shouldn't have even re-signed mccordy bro but was he the okay never mind there was an 80 rated running back that went number two that's an 80 overall there that's crazy the new york football jet <laughs> go with a 63 rated quarterback oh my goodness so they already gave up on zach wilson already gave up on mike goat white ben giles i'll tell you that right now new york this ain't your guy either <laughs> this guy was the highest overall in the class as well as cordell middleton beeson though tied at number two at a 79 overall so you love to see it okay the uh the jets got themselves a nice little edge though but he's only normal year two and we're up to an 84 overall squad now 87 offense 81 defense and this offense was decent last year i'm actually going to be playing jacoby myers as my number two now juju as our number one love it everything else untouched defensively though we have made some nice upgrades little chris barnes is now here my boy Amon mod beeson and i kind of want to okay josh uche starting as well i want to get this man involved somehow let me check the specialist he's at the slot right now that's fine that's fine with me i'm also not changing any of the playbooks was really good last year patriots playbook historically also um are always very very solid so see you guys mid-season and i stopped the sim at week two to change my scouts and i can't do it anymore so pain hashtag bring the old scouting back hey we're four and three top of the division dolphins absolutely down bad once again but we'll definitely take it i am very curious to see though if my boy Ahmad Beeson has his development trait already, even though it's 90% going to be a star. Is there a chance? He... He's a superstar. Dude, this guy's a beast. Okay, now I really 
might start him right now dude tw i swear he was 23 when i checked him earlier i don't know he went, he went down a year he's 22 now i have no idea this guy's a superstar i could not be any more stoked i think i'll just keep him in the slot for now but next season he'll definitely i'll probably move him to free safety and he'll be starting there for sure which means mccordy will be wasn't he supposed to retire last year i don't even <laughs> get out of here mccordy just kidding you a legend my guy isaiah win I'd probably like to get back. I don't know. We'll see if we have enough money. Damian Harris as well. Jonathan Jones up to 28 years old now. So maybe not. Winovich Van Noy could probably walk. So this O-line is making a lot of money. But I think I'm just going to guarantee we got all of them. While wow, Mac Jones is on that rookie deal so far. Let's, let's keep him protected. And then Damian Harris, just for the simple fact of realism, I'm probably just going to keep him here for another five years. Let's see if he can turn into something here. First in the division in the first half first in the division in the second half as the dolphins actually had a second half resurgence but this this division sucks on madden i don't know why the bills are always so bad and the jets drafted a 63 overall qb don't forget don't let that slide as tom brady leads the way again patrick Mahomes, and matt ryan the same three as last year zeke chubb henry the usuals amari cooper evans ridley may he get better cleo mack 22 sacks leads the way and did so the warden with six picks okay this offensive playbook is not it. 25th in the league that's terrible. Def mm, is this the 3-4 playbook I've been looking for this whole time? Mac Jones somehow got worse. 3,947 yards. I believe that's like 300 less than last year. 28 touchdowns is plus one. Interceptions is 14. It's plus one from last year as well. Weird year for Mac Jones. I'll playbook change next year though. Ooh, Damian Harris was decent though. 1,235 yards, 4.2 carry as well as seven touchdowns. That's not bad. That's not bad. The new contract man, Ramondre Stevenson, had himself 10 touchdowns. And Mac Jones also had two and ran 44 times for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, this offense playbook sucks. 893 yards for Juju, four touchdowns. Hunter Henry, three touchdowns, 848 yards. Jacoby Myers, 11 touchdowns. How, would, how the tables have turned for him. 830 yards. Kendrick Bourne, only about 660 there. Damian Harris, not too much. But defensively, we were fire. Dante Hightower leads the way with 126 tackles made. Christian Barmore, 15 tackle for losses. Winovich with 13 there. Who's there with 14 sacks? It's Judon. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Winovich with eight. I, I wanted to see how he performed to see if I wanted to uh, give him another contract. And this is a pretty good season as well as a good uh, statistical output from our defense as a whole. Kyle Duger, three interceptions as well as the main man, Ahmad Beeson, who I am going to change off number 36 and going to change his picture. It, and he is going to be number number two and bleh, to this generic face that they always give these rookies look at the, all these cool new faces they added that they just they never put on the rookies it doesn't make any sense this guy i'm going this guy looks like he's 97 years old man i'm going this dude we got ourselves the cleveland browns in the first round they'll also finish 10 and 7 and every time we played a team with the same record as us last year we came away victorious in the off so let's keep that streak rolling the cleveland browns beat us by one pain Ezekiel Elliott wins MVP but number five was Taylor Heineke what's going on here okay I'm at offensive rookie of the year I don't know who these guys are but defensive rookie of the year it's got to be one man right Ahmad B Jordan that's from this guy on Browns too no we hate the Browns around here Beeson was number three hey can you two get in the top five so my O-line rule can actually come into effect thank you Matthew Judon best linebacker though what do you have like 14 sacks we'll take that X factor maybe oh this offense sucked we're gonna get no upgrades here so don't even worry about that but defensively ow we also got no upgrades though the most generic madden super bowl of all time chase winovich two-year deal he wants 17 mil 28 years of age at just 79 overall probably going to let him walk van noise literally 68 overall now he can leave if he wants to i don't think i'm gonna re-sign anybody back Let's go to free agency with a clean slate. 66 mil to play around with in free agency in year number two. And scary Terry McLaurin. F1 McLaurin, my bad Terry, is here. You never really see him here. That would be a really, really sick signing. Be Hollywood Brown also here. Okay, Brady. Hey, Brady. And tell you what, I feel like this is a match made in heaven. We need that deep threat alongside Juju, Jacoby Myers. We want to build a great team around um, Mac Jones on his rookie deal, of course. Terry. 
come to Foxborough. Terry McLaurin, of course, you guys saw Greedy Williams would be an amazing CB2 option for us, and his speed alongside JC Jackson would be amazing. Dante Hightower, who is, he's still got it. He's still got it. He led our team in tackles last year. I want him back on another one-year deal. Cleveland Farrell. I'm offering him a little two-year prove-it deal. You know, he hasn't been great so far in the league despite how high he was chosen. If there's any way you can prove it, it's New England, baby. God, Josh Jimenez, depth. And we, I think, got every... Is that everybody? Yo, we've been hitting. New England's hot. The future is bright here. We're getting all the free agency signings. We're banging out the draft picks as well. Does private workouts even work? I don't know. It didn't work last year. There are two middle linebackers projected top five. That's pretty wild if you ask me. I'm going to scout them though because I am intrigued. I really am. I would trade up for them as well. And then I'm going to scout at this Dustin Peterson or hopefully scout them out if it even works. So this guy's also projected top five. We need help on the defensive line. I'm pressing yes. You guys saw it. You're my witness. Ooh, but the Heisman winner was a cornerback named Jamal Reed here out of florida looks like we still need a cb3 so maybe he's my choice by the way saints first pick that's kind of wild but let's go ahead and see if they actually scouted our they it's 40 percent sc discounting update man but where's our guy jamal reed right here the florida cornerback b catching b press as well ran the 20th fastest 40 but still a 4.5 it means he's got great acceleration agility elite change of direction my voice is giving Elite change of direction, good jumping, solid speed, decent strength there. We're not going to have too many skills, but we have, he's got A tackling as well. Okay. Wait, this guy's 95% scouted though. The, the edge we got. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I have no idea what it is. This guy, I mean, what are, what are his uh, ratings looking like here? A tackling, B finesse moves, B hit power, stamina, pursuit, C power moves. Probably not worth trading up in the top five to get, you know? Where is that corner supposed to land? Jamal Reed, number 17. We are pick number 20 here. I might trade up to like 12 just to guarantee we get this guy because I actually think cornerbacks are our biggest need. We need that number three. Ooh, I'll tell you what. I might get rid of John. Look at how much money they're making. I might get rid of John Smith because I'm mad and you really just don't need two really good tight ends. Especially when he's making that much money. I would like to go up to number 12 here with the Raiders. Let's try a fourth round pick. This might be good, okay? Which means I will try a future third round pick and this should be the... Do I give up my current one? I, I guess I kind of have to. I want to go up to number 12. I want to get that guy. Thank you very much, Raiders. Actually, you kind of fleeced me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I should have just... I should have just went... I should have just went pick by pick. Oh, we just got finessed by 10. Now, see, what do I do now? What do I do now? My plans are ruined. I, I still need a corner. Didn't my man's... Didn't my man's beast didn't have, like, B-man coverage or something? 79 man, 77 zone. Tell you what, a mod Beeson could be moved out to cornerback here. And maybe I draft another safety. It depends on the prospects. Wouldn't have been a problem if I could have just got you, Jamal. Okay, so this guy looks like the best CB I've seen so far. He's got good ratings. Nothing spectacular too great there. He was first in the 40-yard uh, dash with a 4.3 as well. Decent combine overall. He's got himself D man coverage, which isn't good at all, but he's got B zone. So maybe I move him back to free safety. We move Ahmad Beeson to cornerback. I don't know. Let me look around just a tad bit more. I mean, Joe Love doesn't look too bad. He's got B zone, but he's got C man, which is better, you know, B block shedding too. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go Joe Love and I'm going to trade back down with the Browns here because I got finessed. They're giving me their first round pick this year, which is 32. They're giving me a future first next year as well. And a third round pick this year for Joe Love was like 32 um players down so we should be able to get him at 32 if i get finesse twice i might just end the video joe love where are you sorry still here out of lsu as well i'm excited c catching c man b zone doesn't look too bad at all combine 4.4 not too shabby elite acceleration he's got though and 16 bench press which is the highest as well joe love just to be my cb3 but is he a little bit more than that hey, yo, what the no 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 whoa okay so outside linebacker was the position we have scouted the most this guy's a left outside linebacker doesn't have the finesse moves or power moves but i might move him inside to be that dante hightower replacement bro b catching b man as well a injury c aware i don't know why i'm mentioning those where's his zone we don't have his zone unfortunately elite acceleration elite change of direction so he's gonna be speedy as ever as well richard horn I'm not even going to look at anyone else. This is my guy. What up? Maybe. We'll see. He's probably going to replace Dante Hightower next year, though. Welcome in. 
And I traded my third round pick, but then got this third round pick from the Super Bowl winners in the Cleveland Browns. So I might use it on an offensive lineman here in Taylor Kincaid, Kinsade. I have no idea, but hit it in development. Maybe he's our David Andrews replacement for the future. Welcome in, my guy. Had to get myself one, you know. Oh, hold up. Our next pick is 420. I'm choosing somebody. And it's not just anybody. It's Zach Calcutta here. An outside linebacker now he can't cover for his life right but just as a rotational guy to um rush the passer a little bit not too bad with his b power moves and he's a hidden development as well as for the ratings though i have one guy in my oh my god okay never mind these guys all suck this guy's hidden i mean that's that's cool but they're all under 65 so that's pain joe loves 74 though is really good but you guys already know the guy that i got in my mind they got I'll go right, a right guard with number one brian albertson hello i miss albertson's that was a great store um jamal reed 76 overall absolute blue chip prospect cornerback out of florida of course he's hidden development because he was the heisman winner and now he's going to be pairing alongside caleb farley as well and he is a superstar i would have loved that i would love to have you bro but i messed up i messed up you either win or you learn hey this class was kind of cheeks though travis bolden was the highest overall at a 77 this ain't madden 21 baby here's one of the middle linebackers i was looking at he sucks and he's number 96 you wait here's quincy kelly remember i was interested in him as well he's hidden he said that thing he went at like number 18 could have stayed at um number 12 and grabbed him he is hidden development which is better than j Oh, I done messed up, bro. Quincy Kelly is that guy. Oh, I messed up so bad. Jamal Reed. Quincy Kelly. Joe Love. Don't be the guy that gets bullied because the people that I could have chosen are going to be way better than you. Show up. Show me that you were the guy we wanted, Joe Love. And yes, I gave him a new face, so he looks a little bit cooler. But this is the team. We moved him on. Beeson out to free safety now. Kyle Duke will remain at strong safety offensively. Added in F1 McLaurin, baby. Absolutely love that addition. As we have a really solid offense now, we even have a future offensive lineman in my boy Kincaid. But that will not matter unless I change this offensive playbook. And I'm going to ride. Jesus, can I? I'm going to ride with the New Orleans Saints because in my Saints rebuild, that playbook was insane. But yeah, not so much changed over here now. Welcome into Greedy Williams. Linebacker group Chris Barnes taking over the number one role now. I like it. Cleveland Farrell, prove yourself, my guy. Prove yourself in New England, please. And thank you very much. Kyle Duger. Or what? 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 Kyle Duger's at slot. I'm going to make that Joe Love. And then Kyle Duger's also at sub. This guy's playing everywhere. No, I know he's he'll be in the box slot, but I want him to be at strong safety as well. Josh Uche, I'm going to make my rush right end there. Everything else looks good to me. I cannot get over the fact that that Quincy Kelly guy was was an x-factor cornerback and i considered him i literally mentioned him and i just didn't take him as we're five and two but this division's picking up some heat as the dolphins and the bills are also five and two interesting we got a breakout tandem breakout offense and a breakout player the breakout player is going to be chris barnes okay if he could go up to superstar that would be great all he has to do is hold the Bengals to less than 200 in total yards or he gets two of the defensive requirements interception force fumbles tackle for losses or sacks and what even is a tandem breakout man mclaurin took our game over last week couldn't what am i reading i don't even know <laughs> took our last game over and couldn't be stopped i'm gonna I'm going to challenge you now, Juju. Yeah, you do your thing. Get Juju 150 yards against the Bengals and something. Touchdown multiplier. Yeah, whatever. Juju, do your thing and make me happy. Other than that, though, not too much to look forward to. We don't have any hidden. I mean, we have our center, but he's not getting any game time. I'll tell you that right now on Wenu. 100% getting him in another contract. Shaq Mason probably as well as Hunter Henry. Kyle Duger. Josh Uche, man, Josh Uche is still only 24. I mean, that's crazy. We got an absolute ton of money as well on Wenu's seven-year deal. My guy, I want you for life. Shaq Mason, big number 69, wants a two-year deal. Come back to the team. He thinks it's perfect. Henry of Hunter wants a four-year deal. It's a lot until he's 32 years old. I'm, I'm fine. He's up to a 90 overall now. And, you know, the team's performing. We're five and two right now. So I, I, I kind of want to keep it intact. Kyle Duger at our strong safety position as well. Three-year deal? Or do I just look to someone later in the draft i'm gonna resign him i want to keep this core together josh uche up to 80 overall now once a four-year deal for 32 mil i'm gonna wait on it though it's gonna depend on how he performs this season as a whole we'll check out his stats at the end and we'll see if he can get that um 
that contract. If he deserves it, I'm going to sim one week here to see if we get any of our breakouts as we lost 29-27. But we have, um, or that was a few short week. I don't even know. And Chris Barnes sucks. And I don't even care about Juju. <laughs> we finished 10-7. and seven, So same record as last year. Interesting. Even after the playbook change. As we were second though to the Dolphins who looked like they could step up. And the Bills had a second half just disaster finishing in last place as Mahomes leads the way again Ian Book see the Saints playbook bro Ian Book is leading the way here where is Mac Jones I don't know Nick Chubb Zeke Henry of course DK Metcalf leads the way that's pretty cool Stephon Diggs Deontay Harris Saints playbook where is the luck for me Von Miller still going strong with 18 sacks there and then X Eric Hendricks and Chris Barnes leads away for picks and offensively we were 11th that's way higher than the past two seasons already so I like that don't tell me it's the top 10 really good I feel like our record should have been a little better you know Mac Jones a ton of yards though 4,800 he deserves the roundup if I've ever heard of it. 34 touchdowns for him as well. His interceptions keep going up year by year though. This time 16. We need to calm down, Mac. Damian Harris had a great year though. 1,100 yards for him. 4.0 carry, but 19 touchdowns. That's incredible. Ramondre Stevens once again in the double digits. Terry, 1,343 yards. Only six touchdowns, but a very good season. And is our alpha wide receiver one as well. Juju. Also really good, 1,100 yards for him. Found the end zone 12 times to lead our receivers. Hunter Henry, who got himself a new contract. Seven touchdowns for him, 840 yards. Jacoby Myers, also 800 yards and five touchdowns for him. Definitely a big step up from the past two seasons. And this time it's Chris Barnes that leads the way with tackles. Made 133 for him. Josh Uche, 18 tackle for losses. Okay, I like that. Cleveland Farrell with 17. Judon and Christian Barmore also get themselves 10. Judon, 10 and a half sacks for him. Six for Uche. Does that warrant him a new contract maybe maybe we'll see fleet pharaoh also six sacks kyle duger five and a half as well and kyle duger i saw had three interceptions chris barnes we saw though had himself six love that sean wade got some action and got himself too few people with one hold up though where's my boy joe love he got himself 67 tackles three tackle for losses half a sack as well you know we'll take it i'm doing this just to make me mad i'm not gonna lie with you jamel reed had himself one interception so not not even that much better but he he's a superstar and i believe the other guy went to the bears right what was his name quincy kelly had one pick as well but i can't believe it <laughs> but guess what we're in the playoffs again we're gonna be we're playing the chiefs dude they finished 12 and 5 we beat them year one i believe I don't know, I'm not too optimistic if I'm being honest with you. Can we beat them? We do beat them again, though. 35-24. Okay, now we have the Bengals who beat us in that regular season game, but barely, if I can remember. They go 13-4, though. Crazy good team. All of their young players developing nicely, I am assuming. And they beat me, dude. Oh, my God. I just want to make the bowl, but our team is just like... We're so close, but we're not quite there just yet, you know? Zeke won MVP again. Get out of here, bro. Jameis on the Vikings, number six for MVP. Okay, famous. Yo. Okay, I thought the O-line rule was going to be in way more of an effect in this rebuild, but I guess not on Wenu, Shaq Mason, Trent Brown all finishing down here. Come on. Could Matt go up? Maybe. McLaurin, maybe. Ooh. We do get a Mac Jones up to superstar development as he's up to an 85 overall with some morale now. Okay, just 25 years old as well. We still have plenty of years left with him and he's still on this rookie deal. We got to win very soon, all right? Nobody else here got a, um, a development trait upgrade, so that's unfortunate. Chris Barnes went up to superstar. Love to see that. And um, Dante Hightower is absolutely gone. Other than that, though, nobody. Joe Love. Joe Love, 2023, and Zeke is just having the best year of all time. <laughs> I'll give you guys my two cents right now. I'm going to let Josh Uche walk here. He had a decent year, not going to lie, but I'm going to see if maybe we can upgrade in free agency, get somebody better, and if not, hopefully I can just re-sign him. 50 mil to spend. Tyron Smith, Teron Armstead do not need them. J.K. Dobbins, no, no, no. What am I really even looking for? Von Miller? I mean, we could bring in here. I need Edge. I need edge and only edge. Darrell Taylor is probably not that guy. I might bring Josh Uche back, but he has a ton of bids on him now. So that kind of sucks. Demarcus Lawrence, look at all these old heads, bro. I don't want them anymore. Randy Gregory, there's really nobody. I'm sorry, Uche. I'm sorry. I should I, sh I should have just re-signed you earlier. Look, I'll give you a deal now. 118 points, bro. Come back home to Foxborough. Mm. Hold up, boy. 
Who was that? We have a we have a superstar tight end, I guess. 69 overall as well. Nice. I, I, I have no idea where he came from. <laughs> and we go five for five. I don't think anybody's rejected me this video. And I absolutely I love the feeling. <laughs> we get Ogba here, who's still like an 83 overall, 30 years of age. Still has a ton left in the tank. Love that addition to the defensive line as well. As Javon Hargrave as well, one of the best defensive tackles of um, this current season right now. Shimenez is back as a backup. Same with the Woozie. And then Josh Uche accepted us as well and the bears have the first pick as well bro just give me quincy kelly you guys do not deserve him bro heisman winner is looks like a running back it's a running back hey it worked this year i private scouted these three middle linebackers as we have 23 and 27 the browns pick remember from that trade this guy's got deep pursuit i'm already a little bit thrown off elite acceleration elite agility Okay, not too bad at all. A finesse moves, B power moves. This guy's more of like an edge. It's not what I'm looking for. Wait, B zone coverage though. This guy's a jack of all trades. Hold up, Wilhide might be the guy. <laughs> or is the guy Justin Slauson, the Washington State middle linebacker? D zone coverage though. Don't love that. Nothing in the ratings is amazing, but nothing's bad at all. Combine, ain't too shabby. Ain't too shabby. Skills wise, A stamina, A power moves. A injury D Mandy zone. This guy's not it. But last but not least, Cade Bryan out of ASU there. Great acceleration, agility. Everything there is just okay. Decent combine as well. Skill wise, A impact block, stamina, A injury, B finesse moves. I don't have man zone, power moves, block shot. I don't know. I think that um the first guy will hide is probably going to be my pick here let's just go ahead and go figure out where he's gonna go though number eight so really high up we do have two first though i am willing to trade up to like five to get this guy to be our high tower replacement because i didn't sign anybody in free agency okay we are at pick number five and he has not gone i made sure to um guarantee that we're not guaranteed but like know that he's there before i trade for him you know what i mean let me go try to bust this out <laughs> Okay, I tried 27 in a second and it wasn't even close. 23 and 27 though, immediately accepted. I'm going up to five. Let's get our guy. And this man right here, you don't just trade up to number five for anyone, you know? You gotta be special. You gotta, I gotta see something extremely promising in you. And I do with Will Heidi. He's a jack of all trades, the Tennessee Field General. Get to Fox Pro and be the hidden development. Please, yes, sir, baby. 92 acceleration, 87 agility, change of direction, not too shabby there, but not bad at all. I can't wait to see what rating he is. Hopefully it's 92. Tyreek Wilson, B-man coverage here at Strong Safety. The last time I saw a DB without a picture, Quincy Kelly, Superstar X Factor. I can't get his name out of my mouth. This guy, really good, really good combine. First in four different categories there. Great acceleration, agility, elite, change of direction as well. Tyreek Wilson, B Pursuit, B Man, C Play Rec, and a member of the New England Patriots, baby. <laughs> He's hidden. Okay, what a bank X Factor. The no picture. We're 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 getting we're figuring out that myth right now. I don't know. <laughs> Sean Dyson, third round outside linebacker. You know, got him 60% scouting. He doesn't look too bad. See finesse moves. See block shed. Be tackling. I mean, it's the third round. Let's just get him on the team for depth purposes. He's out of Tennessee as well, though. That's where the um the safety we just got was from, too. So we got we got a little connection there. I'm quite excited though to see our first two guys, the linebacker and the safety. 73. This guy's a 76, though. Dude, he could actually be X Factor. I swear. The, the that no picture is something, but Will Hyde was the man we traded up for. Unfortunately, he's a little low of an overall at um only 73 there. But let's go check out his attributes. Decent speed, really good acceleration though. 92, 81 tackling as well. Good awareness, play rec, hit power, strength. Very well rounded. 66 zone as well. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Tyreek Wilson though. 76 overall hidden. Just 21 years of age as well. 86 speed, 92 acceleration, 76 zone, 80 hit power. 73 man too dude this guy's insane <laughs> i kind of just want to see if any of the um any of the other linebackers were up here as well as well that i wanted like a justin slauson the three that we wanted this guy's the only normal it's a good thing we didn't go him is this guy the other guy jump no this guy went the sixth round holy and he's 72 and he's hidden 
I gotta check out what he is. Six round gem. I kind of love to see that. Honestly, you don't see that often. He's only star, but still, that's really cool to see. I think it was this guy, Cade Bryan. He's also 72 overall, went at number 27 in the first round. This guy is hidden development. Only one rating less than the guy we got at all the way up at number five as well. I could have I could have just kept my picks. Went Cade Bryan. He's only a star, so that's the lowest you can be. Will Mays, I got faith in you, my guy. 86 overall now, I believe. This is year four now. So Mac Jones, you got to get me one quite soon. You're up to superstar development as well. And this offense is amazing. Damien Harris last year, 19 touchdowns as well. Could have went up to superstar. Honestly, with you defensively, we got a little bit better with the addition of Emmanuel Ogba on this defensive line. Shadobi Awuzie as our CB3 because Joe Love is unfortunately not one of the other guys that I could have drafted. Wilson, why is he a star? Why is he a star already? I didn't. I didn't. I did not touch anything. I did not touch anything. Why is he? Why you, they're just gonna spoil it for me like that? Okay. Well, that's underwhelming. I mean, I I, <laughs> I was really hoping he could be X Factor or something. I'm just gonna change his face while I'm here, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it this guy. I literally didn't touch anything though. That was the first time I've checked out the team, and I don't know why he was already a star. Cause like Will Hyde, it's still his hidden development. I have no idea. I have no idea, but I'm hoping this team can take me all the way this year. That would be fantastic as Wilson's actually a sub linebacker. Where's my boy Mays or whatever his name is. <laughs> the thing is, I'd probably be fine with um, Tyreek at sub linebacker if I didn't know his development trait was star. Like that just kind of is throwing me off already. My boy, where the heck is he? Am I blind? Will Hyde, Will Hyde, what did I say? Like, I don't know, 72 overall, I'm making him my sub linebacker right away. Playbooks aren't gonna get changed. I just gotta hope. This team, it's only getting better, right? Mac Jones only growing superstar development now. So hopefully we can make that jump to the bowl this year. Okay, well, mm, we're bottom of the division, which had me sad. But we're three and four, which is only one game behind first place in the Jets there. So it's not it's not too bad, but definitely not what you like to see at all. However, something I'd love to see is my boys hidden development trait. I already know the safety for whatever reason, but our linebacker is going to be a superstar. Superstar. We'll take that all day long. It's well worth the trade up. The other guys were in anything else, so we'll hide. Let's go, baby. We also got a breakout player, and that's going to be, you see me last coach, last week coach. I don't know who you are, but I'm, if I'm to guess, Jacoby Myers, Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin to go up to X Factor. Four touchdowns or 200 yards. Mac Jones feed the man. Christian Barmore needs a new contract already. That means that means Mac Jones is in here as well. Okay, let's get them out the way. Mac Jones, what's a five-year, $143 million deal? Mac Jones... Lead me to the promised land. Christian Barmore quietly up to an 87 overall now has been kind of balling out. Ain't gonna lie with you. Would love to resign him and that's what we do. Wait, I gotta I gotta sim this week because we have a breakout, right? For Terry McLaurin, can we beat the two and four Cardinals as that was? We beat them 24 to 10. Not too many points, but maybe he could have got the yardage or somebody. I don't even know if this is still glitched, but you know what? I'll take it. McLaurin's an X factor. I'm kind of scared that we might we might actually miss the playoffs this year. Wow, what a second half from us. 11 and 6, and once again, this division, everybody else just absolutely collapsed there. And Mac Jones, ladies and gentlemen, the new contract. Mac Jones has led the league in yardage with 5,027. Had himself 39 touchdowns as well, which is a career high for him. Chubb, Henry Taylor. I see Terry McLaurin at number three for receivers as well. Okay. Ninth in offensive yards. It's the highest we've gotten. Mac Jones absolutely balled out. Shout out to him. Defensively, 11th. Not gonna, I'm not gonna mention what I'm thinking of in my mind right now, but Mac Jones, 5,027 yards from 39 touchdowns and the picks went down finally as he only got himself seven. Amazing year from Mac. Damien Harris, little regression in terms of the touchdowns, 4.8 carries, phenomenal though, as he got himself like the same exact yards as last year. And I swear Ramondre Stevenson gets 10 touchdowns every year. This guy's as consistent as they get. <laughs> McLaurin, whoo 1,465 yards as well as 10 touchdowns. Phenomenal year from F1 McLaurin. Juju also broke 1,030. Eight touchdowns for him. Jacoby Myers, 928. Hunter Henry, 915. And 11 touchdowns for him, which leads the way for the receivers. Wait, isn't this guy the, um, the superstar too? I didn't even... 
I don't know where this guy came from, but I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Kyle Duger leads the way for tackles and made with 100. Is it Duger or Duggar? I have no idea. Ogba, 19 tackle for losses, 17 for Javon Hargrave, 14 Cleveland Farrow, 12 for Barmore, Matthew Judon, and the sack number's looking nice this year, 13 and a half for Judon, Ogba, 11 and a half. Four for Barmore can kind of kind of falls off after that, but that's the most we've gotten from a pair in this whole video. Chris Barnes, Greedy Williams, Ahmad Beast, and JC Jackson, all with two interceptions each. You love to see it. And we got Derek Henry and the new ink. Wait, what? No, the what am I saying? The the Tennessee Titans. Jesus, I don't know why that took me so long to come up with. They go ten and seven though. Obviously, a great team beat us in what 2019 was it? But we beat them, and now we got the 12 and five. The 12 and 5 Colts, and I'm kind of intrigued. Is Carson Wentz still their QB? So they doing their thing over here. It actually is still Carson Wentz, really. He had a terrible year, by the way. He's still normal, 73 overall. I mean, nothing's happening with him. 3,700 yards, 24 touchdowns, 17 picks as well. But they have Jonathan Taylor, who's one of the best running backs in the league already as we speak. He's probably going to win the rushing title this year as well. So this is a scary team, but we got this defense that it will be hunting him down, that will be shutting him down. And they got Carson Wentz, who is so, so prone to making some big mistakes. And we're going to be in the conference championship once again, which we made it to week, not week one, when I say in year one, this time we got the Las Vegas Raiders. They go 13 and four. They were number one in the conference as well. Other half is the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys, a little divisional rival or a divisional matchup there. Hopefully we can make it. Hopefully we can make it and beat out Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders who have been going through so much in this season, but it's going to come to an end because we are here. We have won and we have made the Super Bowl where we, where we are going to be playing the Dallas Cowboys in the God himself in Ezekiel Elliott, who's won MVP like every season, just like this one. Never mind. Of course, it's Nick Chubb now, bro. Mac Jones, number six, though. Shout out to him. Mac Jones also won best quarterback. Who did he go up to X Factor? That year was definitely good enough, too. Thank you, Michael Onwen, who finally finishes in the top five. I was expecting him to get there so much sooner, but he will be going up to superstar because of the O line rule. Someone I won't have to upgrade is Mac Jones because he is going to be a superstar X Factor. You love to see it. Year number four absolutely goes crazy, leads his team to the Super Bowl as well. And he is now a superstar X Factor QB of the year, Big Mac Jones. And then McLaurin got his upgrade midseason, right, from that development trait. Shout out my boy Mason there. Defensively, Ogba. Ogba up to superstar. Okay, we love that. We love those around here. Nothing else, but the amount of superstars we have already, I love it. And year number four now warrants us to go um, go check out this Cowboys team. Zeke, still a 99, as well as Amari uh, Cooper, still doing their thing. Zach Martin. Dak Prescott, Trayvon Diggs up to a superstar, 95 overall. CD Lamb developing like crazy. This team is still intact. Micah Parsons, Dalton Schultz, Oza Adigazua. Okay, Tim Thomas. Who? Who is this guy? Look at this. Remember, I wanted to resign or I wanted to sign Tim. What am I saying? Michael Gallup earlier. Tim Thomas it looks like a great replacement for them. They pretty much still have their team. They'll bang down on some draft picks, it looks like. But hey, overall. Should be a good game. But here we are. We have made it. And I just simmed one play. What am I doing? Change of possession? Dang, it's been so long I forgot. They get the first three points though. And I... What is going on? Fast. Oh, I'm doing change. What am I doing? I... <laughs> um, next quarter. Next quarter we go here as uh, the first quarter is going to end in just 3-0. Those were the only points there. They get another field goal. All we need is a touchdown. We're in the lead. If you guys can do math, you know what I mean. And we take the lead. But they get themselves a touchdown as well. Up to not go for two. So they're only up six points here. As we go to the third quarter, they are up at the end of the first half there. We get a touchdown. 14-13. We got ourselves a close game. I love it. Oh, this is what I hop into though. They're, or <laughs> they're on our two. First and goal as well. Fresh set of downs. We need this defense to step up. Ooh, I was really hoping for a fumble there, but we get a good stop. Second and goal. Looks like, why are we leaving Amari Cooper wide open? They are running. And we stuff him. Okay, let's go. Third and goal. Does Mike McCarthy go for this even if they don't get it? Interesting decision. We swat. Oh my God, he was wide open too. I think that's Tim Thomas, the guy we just saw. Fourth and goal. The defense has stepped up here. And they're kicking. They're kicking. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Number 28 kicker. That's disgusting. Offense on the field, though. Let's go. This is what we've been waiting for, and we're starting it off with a jet sweep to Hunter Henry, but he's got a lot of room, so we'll take it. He gets me like eight. Second and five. Empty backfield. Mac Jones, show me something special. Show me you're ready for the moment. He gets me a first down. I ain't complaining. Second and five. Fake handoff to Damien Harris. Another beautiful first down pass from Mac Jones. He's not having a bad game at all. 22 for 30 for about 200 yards there and a touchdown. A very Mac Jones type performance, if I say so myself. As we're nearing the halfway mark of the fourth quarter here, we are in field goal range already. It's Damien Harris with a nice reception. I love what I'm seeing from the O. We're driving down quite, quite easily here. Damien Harris breaks through again, gets me about seven yards. A field goal puts us in the lead, which is good. It's not what I want, though. I want a touchdown. I want seven. I want seven from you, Mac Jones, and I don't want you, I don't want you rolling out like that ever again. What are you doing? We'll take the kick, though. We'll take three points. Take the lead. Three minutes, 30 seconds to go. Just got to trust in this defense to really come through. Dak. Prescott, here we go. Three minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Finds Amari Cooper for about 10 yards there. I'm getting kind of scared, but we need our D to step up here. We have a ton of players, a ton of superstars. Look at them. They're all over the field. A few of them I've drafted myself, you know. Oh, my God. I thought that was a pick. Imagine. Two plays, two slants, just about two first downs as well. That's not a good sign from our team at all. Dak's got room. But it's a sack, and it's Josh Uche, the man who we signed back. Two sacks for him on the day. What a Super Bowl he's having so far. And puts them all the way back at their own 36. Second and 18. It's another slant, and it ain't going anywhere. Third and 11. We need this stop. We need this stop more than ever. I thought Christian Barmore was going to step up there and get the sack. But unfortunately, I think they actually come but They didn't. Fourth and inches. Game on the line. Game on the line right here. If they convert this, I think we lose. They have Zeke. They convert this. I'm getting a little worried. I'm getting a little worried. Under a minute 30 to go here. They're almost in field goal range, just not quite yet. Get us. Oh. We need a big play. We need a big play right now. I was hoping for a strip sack right there. Unfortunately, Dak got it off in time, and Dak's going to find Dalton Schultz wide open. He gets out of bounds, stops the clock, which is... Not the worst thing for us. I guess it is third and five for them, though. Are they in field goal range? It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one nonetheless here. We need this. We need this. Did we get it? No, this Tim Thomas dude is gone. Okay, now we got to start playing our game. We, we, we already used one timeout. They're going to be pounding the clock now. Zeke just bullies his way through for extra yardage there, even after the tackle was made. I'm, 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 feeling, I'm feeling skeptical. We cannot let them get a first down here. They're still wasting clock. Zeke's one-on-one. -on -one. That's game. That's game. And that is such an unfortunate way to go out. But unfortunately, it's just a field goal battle in this fourth quarter. A minute and one to go. They're just going to pound the rock, man. They're passing. Zeke, what? let him in. Let him in. Honestly, let him in. We want him to score so we get the ball back and have a chance. If not, then they can just... Why are they passing? I don't know. Let them have a touchdown. You mm, at least pick it off or something. But you know what? It stopped the clock. Now things, you know, it's not looking good in our favor. 24 seconds. No timeouts. I mean, this is going to be very, very difficult. But we've seen crazier things happen. Mac Jones from our own 20. With 20 seconds left. No timeouts. Pressure in his face. We pass it through the middle. And time is pretty much going to be out here. What do we do? Why are we, what, what's the point of doing a fake handoff? Mac, you need to sling it down. We just, we just lost. We just lost the Super Bowl. Heartbreak. Absolute heartbreak here. 19-17 to 17 to the Cowboys who win once again. And I swear they've made like every Super Bowl besides the first year. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but in the end, they were just the better team. Both QBs, very similar. 23, 24 completions for the, each of them there. 266 yards for Dak. Mac only had 213. Both had one touchdown, no picks. I need more from you, Mac. I need more from you. Zeke killed us, of course. 107 yards for him. Five, a carry. Damian Harris found the end zone once, though, so shout out to him. Yeah, and it was it was this Tim Thomas dude who killed me, who I was showcasing before we got into the game. He had eight receptions, 103 yards. He killed me. Damien Harris led the way for us. But where Hunter Henry, 56 yards. I need more from you, Terry. 
I need more. Five receptions, 40 yards. That's not going to cut it, bro. Amari Cooper, Jacoby Myers was good, though. Juju was the guy that got uh, the touchdown for us, even though he only had... We had 17 yards, bro. Disappointing performance from our team. Greedy leads the way for tackles made. Will Hyde in his rookie year makes Super Bowl. Love to see that. Judon and him, though. Two tackle for losses. Two and a half sacks from Micah Parsons. Josh Uche, we saw, had two himself. And Judon had one. But ah, I'm disappointed. Hopefully, we can do it next year. Shout out Chris Barnes and Ahmad Beeson, though. Two forced fumbles this game. But unfortunately, we couldn't convert them. Andrews, Ogba, Hargrave, Judon... Farrell, Owuzie, I mean, the really old players now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to sign any of them. Going to free agency. Fresh money. All the money in the world that we can have. 40 mil. Let's go see what upgrades we can make to this team to get us over the hump. Maybe an Aaron Donald. Who knows? <laughs> Does anybody remember this guy when the Jets drafted him? <laughs> He's a 66 overall now, dude. What a pick that was. Okay, we're adding in Naheem Hines. Backup. Tim Settle. Backup. Ogba's coming back as well as Cleveland Farrell. Also adding in Stephon to it so a really good defensive line we're building now and i had one more offer in for you and then we're not gonna get him but hey i'd rather have mike hilton anyway whoa this is the first time i've had um people 100 percent scouted you'll love to see this guy's a round one talent as well um i don't know when he's supposed to be going but he looks really good he could be our matthew judon replacement that i desperately need a power moves Whoa, A tackling, B finesse moves. I, I want this guy. It's the fifth year I'm getting this guy. Chicago. I had to try it. I had to try it. <laughs> All right, we got it accepted though. 31 future pick next year that we don't care about as well as a second round pick as well. Moving all the way up to number five. And he goes by the name of Devon Bigby. The Boise State outside linebacker just looks so good. He's 23 years old as well. So he can come and help this team immediately. He's ready. Look at all the A's across the board. F stamina though, that's not good, but tell you what, the talent alone will we'll mold you into a, a physical freak, but Devon Bigby, hidden development, 90 acceleration, 83 speed, 83 strength as a well, okay. Year five, likely the last season that we are here in New England. Mac Jones is a superstar X Factor. Kincaddy, my draft pick from a few years back, will be our new starting center. So you love to see that defensively. I haven't checked out. I just literally simmed the rest of the draft. I'm not going to lie with you. This guy's a 76 though. So pretty cool to see. How was stats looking though? I'm always intrigued. Really good. Greens across the boards. They're 83 power moves. Really good. 90 acceleration we saw as well. Where's the finesse move? 72. Okay, not bad. Shout out to that 99 injury. This defense is actually sick though. Like look at it's. We got all the colors in the world. Shout out Joe Love. Far more to it. Ogba, this defensive line is beautiful now. Linebacker group with Will Hyde. Beeson's up to a 90 overall as well. You know, you know what I'm going to do. It is the last season. Let's go out with the bang. Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I will see you guys in the playoffs. 13 and 4. Our best record yet. You love to see it. And for back to back seasons, it is Mac Jones leading the way for passing yardage 5,000. 376 as well as 39 touchdowns let's just go ahead and get straight into it first in offensive yardage amazing amazing defensively first as well bro patriots playbook is like that mac jones 5376 yards for 39 touchdowns 15 interceptions though he's he's, he's back to his old ways I, I don't like that damian harris didn't do too much this year 12 touchdowns 4.3 carry 887 yards and even oh no we lost for monday streaming since right i was i was looking for his 10 tutties wow look at how spread out these are though jacoby myers 1300 yards nine touchdowns mclaurin 16 touchdowns 1100 1200 yards we'll round up for him as well as hunter henry 1168 1119 for juju smith schuster crazy statistics four receivers over 1100 that's bonkers chris barnes 103 tackles made for him tackle for losses 13 for ogba 12 for Barnes. Far more Cleveland Farrell sack numbers. Ogba, 12 and a half. He's been so good. Devon Bigby, nine and a half. Only a star, unfortunately. But he had a really good year. Nine and a half sacks. Far more six and a half. Interceptions. How are we looking over here? Joe Love. Joe Love has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> year number five last year. Joe Love is here. JC Jackson, four. Chris Barnes, Greedy Williams, three. Kyle Duger with two. We had a ton of picks. Shout out my boy Ahmad. And the Browns are the team we're playing in the divisional. Ten and seven. They go. I believe they beat me. In one or maybe even two of the years. So, kind of scared. But this team is crazy. 
four, oh my god, absolute thriller there, 45-42 as we got the Tennessee Titans, who are also 10-7, can we make it back to the Super Bowl, this team is crazy, 41-35, we are back to back years baby, that made no sense, but you know what I meant, we're playing Trey Lance, the San Francisco 49ers, the team that was uh, rumored so much that they traded up to get Mac Jones, now we're gonna see who comes out on top, Trey Lance or Mac Jones to end off this video. Let's go. MVP's got to be Mac Jones, right? It's, it's Get this guy off. Oh, Devon Bigby, Defensive Player of the Year. Look at that. We make a Super Bowl last year and we draft the best defensive player in the class. You love to see it. And I also forgot to make on when it was Superstar. That's why we lost last year. It's simple. It's bad juju. You have your own rule. You talk about your own rule and then you forget to do it yourself. I'm sorry. How did Jacoby Myers not go up to Superstar? I don't know. I will, I, I will do you after I check out the defense, okay? And the defense is where we got nobody anyway, so that was a waste of time. Michael Odwano is now a superstar, so we're looking good now. Check out this Niners team, though. How are they rocking? Kittle, 99. Fred Warner, 99. Bosa, 99. Those three are no surprises. Trey Sermon, though, is a surprise. 95 overall. Trey Lance, 94 overall. 25 years old. Superstar development, which is what he comes out with. He ain't no Mac Jones, though. Mac Jones is the next factor. It's like a 97 now. Shout out Debo. I love Debo Samuel. Um, Ayuk, they, they they still have their core. Darnay Holmes is a superstar. 83 overall. Now Jimmy Ward is still here doing his thing. Earl Johnson. Liam Eichenberg is out there. Juice still here as well. Okay, good team. I'll see you guys in there. And let's get things going. Let's start it off with a bang. Let's start off with a bang. Okay, that's, that's not the bang I was talking about, but we tied up 7-7. Seven to seven, End of the first quarter there, so... At least we're answering right back. They get a field goal there. They get another field goal going up six points. We get a touchdown to take the lead to end off the first half. And that's beautiful stuff. We start with ball as well. Get three points. They get a touchdown though. 20 all going into the fourth quarter. Oh man. And it is Niners ball. Second and seven on our 23. Just about to enter into our red zone. And there they have it. Trey Serban is destroying us. Hello. 15 attempts. 150 yards. Did I just see that correctly? Trey and Trey going absolutely crazy here in the Trey area. But it's third and two. It's a third and two, though. Trey Sermon's wide open. <laughs> First and goal. Trey yeah! Lance scrambling. Let's go. Josh Uche. Josh Uche has been such a beast for us. And that is one of the most crucial plays I've ever witnessed. Superstar X Factor. Mac Jones, might I add. It's just... Just a little sum sum, you know, don't let Nick Bosa through. Thank you very much. Mac Jones slings it. It's a good pass breakup. We have got to capitalize here, though, on the turnover. I mean, we saved us some points here, but we need to drive down at the very least. Mac Jones, please. Beautiful stuff. Jacoby Myers. We got another third down. Third and nine. On the 30. At least we can, um, if we've taken it downfield a little bit, they're getting pressure. Mac Jones. Mac Jones. The pressure was just too much, man. Trey Sermon, absolute gap. He just found, gets them 13 yards. Dude, we cannot stop him. We cannot stop him despite our defense being number one in the league in yardage. Trey and Trey are destroying us. Or they're not destroying us, but Trey Sermon is destroying us. You know what I mean? It's still 2020 though. Second and five, we have stacked the defensive line though and my boy Ahmad Beeson comes through and tackles Trey Sermon just short of the first down marker leads us to a third and three where they got themselves an empty backfield. Can Trey Lance do it? I mean, I could have done that. <laughs> first and 10, Trey Lance opting to pass again. I thought that could have been a pick. The animation was there as well. I thought that could have been a pick, but unfortunately, George Kittle picks up the first down in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, in the process. First and 10, they're already in our 30. Driving down, absolutely, oh my God. Make a play. I swear that was in his hands. That was Joe Love. That was Joe Love. Oh my God. By the way, Joe Love. Shout out to you. Anyone watch you? Comment down below. That could have been a great trait. Oh, no way. No way. I'm on BC recover his flag on the play. It's going to be like a legal block in the back or whatever. Another fumble. We've seen two fumbles this game. Holding offense. We're good. Oh my god, the defense is coming through. But we need this offense to drive down and just give me three points. Just give me something. Just give me a first down, Hunter Henry, baby. Come on now. Come on now. Second and nine. Mac Jones. Beautiful pass. I believe that is Juju Smith-Schuster. Another first down here. We're already on the 35. We're in San Francisco territory, baby. Mac Jones. Damian Harris. Big hole. 
First down. Kill clock. Kill clock. Do what the Cowboys did to us last year. Kill the clock. Kick. Nah, I want seven. I want seven. Let's be real. I want seven. Not only for me, but for you guys. More entertaining. Mac Jones, show me something special. Give us a show. Best show in... Yep, Javon Kinlaw finds his way through. Now it's second 18. Now a field goal is looking a little bit more worrisome as we're pushed back. Okay, second and 18. Why are we running this? I mean, I, I, I get why. It's going to waste a lot of clock, to be fair. Mac, no. Waste more clock, Mac. Why did we go so fast? Do not snap. Madden. Madden. Timeout. We could have, we could have, we could have had like 30 more seconds off the board. That's not good. That's not good. We're going to kick it here with Rodrigo Blankenship, who I offered a seven-year deal in year one, and hopefully he does not let me down as we can hopefully take a three-point lead with just a minute and 30 to go. But tell you what, I got all the faith in the world in this defense that has came through and has clutched up so many times before. So what it comes down to, though, the defense. Year number five, last year of this rebuild. This defense is so good. It's Emmanuel Ogba. What a signing he's been. He had no offers. No offer, still just 30 years old, still has so much to Trey Lance. Oh my god, Joe, Joe Love. No! <laughs> Dude, if Joe Love makes the play, he's on Kittle as well. I mean, that's a tough matchup for a CB, but we got a third and 17. Trey Lance, he's going to be slinging this one again, no doubt. Just, just prove me wrong, man. Okay. Here we go, fourth and 10. We look like we're in man-to-man -man coverage here. Come on, get some pass rush. Get some... Trey Lance absolutely fluffs it. That was to nobody. Not even close. Is that game? Is that Mac Jones in victory formation in year five against Trey Lance in the same draft class? We did it. We actually did it. Oh, baby. Let's go. 23 to 20 and what a game. What a game and what a team we've built as well. Trust me, we're going to go through all of that and all the stats right after this. But let's just soak this in. The Patriots are back on top of place they're so, oh, so very familiar with. <laughs> but they're back. And it's Mac Jones that has led them here. Trey Lance is happy for him too. Look at that. Just two best buds. But it was a very even game here in the Super Bowl. Mac Jones, 24 for 39. Trey Lance, 9 for 19 for 30 both of their qbrs very similar 260 yards for mac jones only 186 for trey lance though one touchdown each no picks oh yeah it was the other trey in the same draft class who destroyed me 19 carries 173 yards 9.1 a carry and a touchdown but a very very costly fumble at the end of the fourth quarter and trey lance had the fumble at the beginning of the fourth quarter so both the trays with the bag let's just say that damien harris 5.4 carry 54 yards one touchdown shout out to him shout out mac jones for running five times for whatever reason <laughs> and mclaurin showed up in this year's super bowl with eight receptions 96 yards and found the end zone hunter henry was great with 69 beautiful yards more than kittle more than kittle who only had 62 Trey sermon very involved in the passing game as well Debo, jacoby myers who we saw on uh, juju smith schuster both of them picked up some big first downs iuke didn't do too much Joe Love in here. Dre Greenlaw, 11 tackles. That leads the way. Emmanuel Ogba. Josh Uche, who we saw makes just such big plays there at the end of the game. Christian Barmore as well. Sack numbers. Kinlaw, too. Kinlaw was good. Nick Bosa, he's also kind of good. Ogba, whoever this guy is. Christian Barmore, all with the sack. Uche got himself a half of one as well as Cleveland Farrow. No interceptions, but the fumbles. This is the big one. I don't know who these went to. They went to Kyle Duger and Christian Barmore. Those were the biggest plays of the game and they could maybe win super bowl mvp off that alone honestly if we don't get those fumbles we do not win this game it's simple or we it's not as easy as it, you know what i mean so if we just did that super bowl mvp though is going to be mac jones that is the perfect cherry on top way to end this video with a Mac Jones Super Bowl MVP and the Patriots winning this Super Bowl. And of course, if you were still watching this video, please make sure to leave this video a like because I'm assuming you enjoyed it. If you were watching to this point, it would mean so much to me. And if you aren't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so as that would mean so, so very much. We got a ton of content like this on the channel already. And of course, coming in the future too. Don't mind that. Mac Jones though, our superstar X Factor, 97 overall quarterback who is the reigning Super Bowl MVP now throw power never went up <laughs> remained at an 88 but the accuracy is at 99 
all of them. Awareness 99, we're throwing a pressure 93. Mac Jones was great and he performed great for us every single year. I believe we made the playoffs every single season in this rebuild and you'd love to see it. 27 touchdowns for him in year number one it was really good. The first three years were a little bit weird. These last two years, though, crazy statistic, crazy numbers, and led us to the Super Bowl in both years. I cannot complain with what I saw from Mac Jones, and he's been performing really good in real life as well. And if he can do anything he just did for us in this video today, Patriots got themselves a good one. Damien Harris was also someone very consistently great for us in this rebuild. 92 overall. Now, kind of surprising he never wanted up the superstar, but huge ups to him, McLaurin. We signed in year number three, I believe. We needed that alpha wide receiver one, and he was exactly that and more. 99 X Factor now got himself a ring. You love to see it. Jacoby Myers, we um, kept him throughout this whole video as well, so shout out to him. I love me some Jacoby Myers, and he found himself in the end zone a few times this video, so <laughs> that's a big that's big progress from him. Juju, who we signed as well, was great. Hunter Henry throughout the whole video, amazing, amazing. Didn't have to do anything there. Offensive line as well, Trent Brown, Shaq Mason, Onwenu, Isaiah Wynn, all remained steady. And David Andrews left us, but we, we drafted my boy Kinkata, who uh, filled in nicely. And one year starter, one year Super Bowl winner. And I ain't got a cap, this defense we built was fire. I mean, we got some older players now with Tewitt, Ogba, who we had to sign. Cleveland Farrell was a guy I gave a little prove it year or a prove it deal, and he, he was actually pretty good for us. I did like what I saw from Cleveland Farrell. Christian Barbo and developed into one of the best defensive tackles in the league, up to a 95 overall now, and he's still getting into his prime years at just the young age of 27. Shout out Christian Barmore, their second round pick in 2021, who I have big, big, um, big aspirations for i have no idea i don't know i can't think of the word right now it's late it's very very late and this is a very long video jc jackson 97 overall went up to superstar in year one he was phenomenal didn't have to worry about him this whole video greedy williams who we also signed by the way what happened to mike hilton no idea shout out greedy williams who was great i think we signed him in year two year one it might have been year one joe love joe love who's trapping people in cages and going crazy after his partners if you don't know what i'm talking about then that's on you if you do know then you know joe love though with all that other aside polarizing player because we could have had quincy kelly the superstar x factor i traded up for jamel whatever his name is the heisman winning quarterback cornerback didn't get him as well he was superstar we ended up with joe love and you know what i'm happy I'm happy with what Joe Love did for us. He did enough, and that's all I can ask for. He tried his very best, okay? Someone that was amazing, though. Ahmad Beeson. My first pick of this video? I think so. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But he came out as a superstar development, and he was amazing. He really was, dude. One of my favorite players in this, in this team. 95 speed, 97 acceleration. Crazy zone. Insane man. 94 man i could have moved this guy out the corner and he would have held his own absolutely fine there ahmad beeson was a beast we saw him make some big plays in the super bowls as well big shout out to him kyle duger was cool as well didn't really progress how i was anticipating him to do so but i guess he is a little bit older now 82 overall he was solid didn't have to worry about him as well shout out my boy wilson here big b who we drafted this year and he's up to an 85 already with morale that's pretty nuts. This guy is the perfect Matthew Judon replacement. He just needs them red sleeves. You know what I mean? Josh Uche kept him throughout this whole video as well. Developed into a, a really good pass rusher and made some amazing plays in the Super Bowls as well. Especially that last one. We saw his number all over the place. Shout out Josh Uche. Shout out Chris Barnes, 93 superstar. And then my boy Will Hyde who I traded up very very highly to get at number five overall but he came out as a superstar development so i ain't gonna complain that's gonna be the wrap of this video though mac jones and the new england patriots rebuild was an absolute success of course like the video if you haven't already cannot stress it out enough it would help me out so so much and comment down below whatever let's start a conversation let's be friends actually comment down below joe and love and i'll shut you out in my next video and then i know you're a real one as well hey that would be awesome but hope you all enjoyed man take care Peace.